who've devoted their lives to um, supporting and believing in us. So we should take the time to believe in them and thank them for their service. So that was Memorial Day. Today, now it's Tuesday and it's 5 p.m. I'm here at the wonderful Progressive Fitness that I own with my husband, T, Coach T Real. Coach T, we like to call him here. And we are in Antioch, California, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, it is hot. It is hot. <laughs> this is the last Tuesday in May, so I'm hoping that uh, uh, this is just sort of a one or two day event and that it will cool off again <laughs> before it gets hot again in July. All right, so welcome. We are here for Flow Yoga Mob. And these classes are put together for my very strong following of the mob like yoga flow vinyasa students who want to sweat and burn and believe in their practice. We're here on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Facebook Live, 5 p.m. But you don't have to ever miss a class. You can find them all on YouTube at Yogi Cecily. All right, y'all ready to go? We are ready to go. I've got my right foot on top of my left as usual and I like to do some breath work here. Let's twist to the right and to the left today. Four times, yeah? So you're in the center, palms on the knees, lift up, inhale. To the right, exhale, twist. Come back to the center, roll your shoulders up, inhale. Exhale, belly button to the spine, chin to chest. Lift up again, inhale. And then twist to the left, exhale. Well, I'm gonna do all that again. Come to the center, lift up, inhale. Exhale, curl down, curl down. Lift up again, inhale. To the right, exhale. Come back to the center, roll up shoulders, look up, inhale. And then round, round, belly button to the spine, tuck the tailbone, exhale. Lift up again, inhale. And to the left, exhale, twist. So good, so good. Go ahead, take your right hand on your left ear and lean it over. Let the left shoulder drop. Yeah, good. Let your jaw relax, let the eyebrow center relax. Hmm, feels good. You like to move. I like to move too, it's good. One more deep breath and then come on up, inhale, and we are gonna change sides. Let's take the left on top of the right. Mm -hmm. Left on right, wonderful. We're gonna start by twisting to the left. So first, inhale. To the left, exhale, twist. Bring me back around to the center, lift up, ridge shoulders, roll back, inhale. And then round down, belly button is fine, tuck the tailbone. Inhale up again, to the twist, to the right, exhale. So good, center, inhale, exhale, round off. Big breath, inhale, center, left side, twist, right arm, and again, center, inhale, rounding, exhale. I love, I love the way this rounding feels. Inhale up, to the right, exhale. I wanna do it all just one more time, yeah? One more, center, inhale. This feels good, chest up, shoulders back, open the throat, inhale, then exhale, big rounding, tuck the tailbone, stretches the lumbar. Inhale up, one more time to the left, exhale, big exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, round. One more last time, right side, inhale, exhale. And center, inhale. Rounding up, exhale. Okay, let's look up. Everybody should be here and ready to go. Today, I'm gonna to start with seated stretches, yeah? Go ahead, Uba Vishta Konasana, unfurl the legs. You can stay up on your blanket if you want to. I'm gonna come off of mine. Nice, good. Let's take the stretch over to the right side. Mm -hmm. Come up center prayer and then take it to the left side. Exhale. I need six more of these. Inhale, exhale, stretch. 
Inhale, exhale, stretch. You know, now really it's not a stretch, right? Inhale, exhale. It's an abdominal contraction. Inhale, left side, exhale, contract down. Inhale, exhale, contract down. One more. Inhale, exhale, left side, hold. Hold here. And you can hold on to the calf, the ankle, or the foot. Some folks have to actually lift up and lengthen. How do you know? How do you know? This is my rule. If your ribs are touching the thigh, then it's okay to bow down. I don't really like to say round down. It's okay to bow down. So my ribs are on my thigh. Hold this left side. Stretch and contraction. Three, two, and one. Center, Upavishta Konasana. Nice, easy, gentle. It's the chin that goes down. Keep your back long. Don't worry if your face doesn't go down. We just started. We just started, yeah? Come all the way up, inhaling. We're going to the left side. Exhale, six, and center. Right side, five, and center. Left side, four, yeah, breathe up, and right, three. Good, breathe up. Give me two more. Left side, two. Sure, inhale up and right side, one. Now we're going to stay on this side. Are you the type of person who actually needs to lift up? If you're bowing down, go ahead and bow down. Now I want to talk to the folks who have to lift up. You're lifting up, but I still want you to try to contract in the abdominals and in the hip flexor. You see, your goal, a goal is to get the rib down to the thigh. It's not to get your head to your knee, that's rounded. It's to get the ribs to the thigh. So focus on that, focus on that. Three, two, one. Everybody got a good stretch. Hands on. Can you grab your feet? If you can't, go for the ankles. If you're overly rounding, lift up, sit up. Think more that you're going uphill than downhill. Yeah, the roller coaster time. We should all be at the theme parks, but we can't go. I love the roller coasters. I really love that up, 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 I get really, really excited. Sometimes when we're doing a stretch, I think people are just doing the down part. No, no, no. Up, up, up. Many of us need that, okay? Great. Let's come out of that and face the right side. Nice. Mm-hmm, good. Legs out long in front, arms at your sides. Good. Go ahead, bring your feet in underneath you. This is an early bridge. I want to squeeze in and up. Yeah, and we're actually just gonna do some repetitions here. Just kind of up, 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 and up, up. Why am I doing this, up and up? I think a lot of times we focus too much on the hamstring opening. Up, 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 and up. And I wanna do some back bending today, up and up. And so I wanna get into the glutes and actually contracting into the hamstrings. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold up. One, lift up on the balls of your feet, walk your feet in close enough so that you can grab the front of your foot. You see, actually squeeze into your hamstrings, actually squeeze the knees together, walk your shoulders in toward your feet, and then press up with the glutes into a most delicious high, high bridge, a high septu bandha sarvangasana. Look how I'm trying to get a big point in the toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Walk out and curl down. Give your knees a hug. Nice. We're going to roll forward with the right foot and knee in front like a kind of modified eagle. Uh, sorry, a, a modified um, pigeon. So you're going to roll. Give your right foot in front and swing your left leg back. That's exhale. Now, it's not a perfect one, right? I need five more of these. You're going to roll. Get your left leg in front and sink your right back. Exhale and back. Inhale. So I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Right first. See, I just want to bow down, just briefly and back, then left, inhale, exhale, and back. So inhale, exhale, you might find one side is better than the other, yes? And when you start practice, when you start your practice, have very low expectations. Let's leave the left leg forward and do some push-ups in this position. So it almost feels like upward facing dog, yeah? I'm going to come up on piano fingers and push up. And then like a push-up, bow down. Five, and then come up, up, up. And then like a push-up, way down and up. Four, three, and down. 
push up two breathe and down and push up one I'm gonna go get my hands on the front knee and the front shin and push up even higher five four three yeah we are two and one good roll back roll forward dig it you need to start with your left leg again start with your left so left to the front inhale exhale back and forward see now right to the front inhale exhale back see I'm, I, have to, I have to work harder to lengthen that leg back give me four more inhale exhale left forward forward and changing back three I think sometimes that's because of my scoliosis and it could because be because of an old injury too. So I don't spend a lot of time trying to figure out uh, imbalances. They are there, one. And I certainly kind of go, oh, I can feel that, I can see that. Here are the push-ups. You're up on piano fingers. Push up, 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 inhale, and then exhale, round down. And four more, up, 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 and exhale. Now see, it gets better the more I do these repetitions. Up, 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 three, right, and down. Remember, it's gonna feel a little bit like upward dog. Two, you're trying to drop the shoulders and roll them back, and down. And one more, up, 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 up. Get both hands on the forward shin, and push up five, four, three, two, and one. Great child's pose. Inhale, ha. Exhale, knees are wide, big toes are together. Bow the head down. Nice. Alternating, stepping forward six times. Stepping through to the center for a lunge. So you're on all fours, right foot through the center. Push out and then exhale back, child's pose. Left leg through the center, lunge and back. Beautiful, four more right foot. So you gotta figure out how to step it through. <laughs> and back, and left foot. See that? If it's not easy for you, you know, grab your blocks. Give me two more. Two, I'm gonna continue to stay on you all about yoga blocks because look how much easier it makes it. Yes, and one. Keep the left foot forward. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and twist your left arm towards me. Then drop both elbows down for early stretching. Lizard lunging, five, four. Here's the goal. Three, the goal is to get the ribs lower than the knee, to get your ribs down. Two, and it feels a little bit like the same effect in pigeon, almost like I want to roll roll to the right, but, but try to stay centered. I don't mind a little rolling, but try to stay centered. Yes, and one, come back up. And we're gonna go with the left foot again, alternating step throughs, yeah? Left foot, step, and lunge. Inhale, exhale, and back. Right foot, step, and lunge. Mm -hmm. And back, sure. Step, and lunge, left foot, and back, right leg, step, and lunge. How to get that foot to go through the center. Two more, step and lunge. Don't suffer, get blocks. Right, again, step and lunge, hold. Hold the right foot there. Twist away from me, right arm up, and then drop both elbows down. Now you can see it here. Everybody hold the stretch. I'm just gonna try to show five. Enjoy the stretch if you've got a very deep stretch. Just enjoy. If you're tight, the body's going to send you this way. Everybody breathe, continue breathing. Three. So what you gotta do is actually get that foot further out in front. Two, and then if you're tight, don't worry about getting your head down. Try to open out the rear leg and allow yourself to lean a little bit to the left. Allow yourself to lean a little bit to the left. You can see as I lean to the left, that entire long leg is coming down. So leaning sometimes helps. Trick of gravity, great. Child's pose, inhale, exhale, child's pose. Wonderful, excellent. Downward, facing dog, inhale, exhale. Great, right leg is gonna lift and we're gonna draw it to the nose five times. 
right leg up and to the nose, exhale. Four more, up to the nose, exhale. Three more, up, 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 exhale. Two more, up, 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 exhale. And one more, up, up, up. It's gonna step through to the lunge. Drop your left knee, high crescent. Arms up, high crescent, one. Hands on your hips, breathe. Mm -hmm. Arms up, hands to the ground, lunge, breathe. Fingers behind the ears, back bending lunge, breathe. Mm -hmm. Arms up, hands to the floor, inhale, exhale, breathe. Arms up, inhale, lace hands behind the back. Back bending, low lunge, breathe. Mm -hmm. Then hands up, hands to the front, half splits, push back, stretch the right hamstring. Blocks are good. <laughs> Five, four, I really want everyone out there to get the right equipment, three, Two, but now if you have creative solutions, two, what else could you use if you don't have a yoga block? It's a very big book. You could take a bunch of phone books, but nobody has those anymore, and you could put tape around them. It has to be sturdy, though. It has to be sturdy. Three, coming up from that, we face each other. You are in Pasarita, Padottanasana. Great, 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 great. And then we turn to the left. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog on the left side. All right, it's your left leg's coming to your nose five times. The left leg up one and to the nose, nose up two and to the nose. Up, 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 up three and to the nose. You know, that's a glute contraction. Four to get the leg higher and five, bring the foot forward, drop the back knee, arms up. I call it a low crescent warrior because the knee is down. Inhale, exhale, hands to the floor, relax. Arms go back up and then fingertips behind your ears. Back bending, breathe. Three, two, one, arms up and then down, exhale. Believe in what you're doing. Last one, the arms are gonna go up, and then lace the hands behind your head. Inhale, exhale again, and you are trying to touch the floor behind me. Three, see this side is easier for me too. I didn't even have to reach for the floor. And one, the arms go up again, and now you're in the half splits. Push back your knee and straighten the front leg. Five, it's a flat back sweep, these four. I don't know what to tell you, right? Three. It's really about getting a geometry to, instead of trying to get a feeling, you're actually trying to get a geometry. It's not an exact geometry though, too, because our bones aren't, we're, because we're not built like a robot. <laughs> All right, so, but you are trying to find the alignment of energy. There's your hamstring stretch. All right, great. And face me, we're gonna face each other in Prasavi Tapada Tanasana. Great, let's twist in this pose. Left hand down, right arm up, twist. Inhale, exhale, change. And five, inhale, mm -hmm. exhale, change. And four, exhale, change. And three, I'm really trying to find my TVA. And down, and two. This is what I'm not doing though see the difference. And one, this is slicing, this would be kind of a slice. And one, now, now take both hands to the right. Now slice over to the right and hug down for your stretch. Three, two, and one. Right side of the room, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Listen carefully, carefully, carefully. Bend your knees on down. Yeah, step your right foot forward. And I wanna do this lunge sequence once more. So the low crescent warrior, see that bit of a hinge, 
are trying to open this kit. So many different ways to lunge. Inhale, exhale, hands to the floor, breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we come up, place the fingertips behind the ears. This is my favorite, right? Because I have that teeny bit of support for my head and I'm peeling my elbows back and the shoulder blades can fall together. They can really fall back and grip. And I inhale, exhale, and relax down. Huh. Yeah. We have one more and the hands are gonna go up. Lace the fingertips behind your back. You are trying to find the floor. Okay, again, blocks are great because it gives you something to go, oh, oh, the floor is not that far away. Great, 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 great. One and down, great. Prasadita Padottanasana, face me, great. Twisting six times to the left. Y'all got me sweating up in here, to the left. Inhale, exhale down, and right side, inhale. Good, what's a slice? A slice is coming off of the center, to give the illusion of a twist. Inhale, exhale. One more left, inhale. Exhale down center. One more right, inhale. So you push into the ground because that's the center line. Exhale down. Both hands to the left, hold the stretch. Three, so now we do slice over. Two, and one left side of the room, chaturanga vinyasa. Upward facing dog, inhale. Sure, 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 downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lift, step forward lunge, it's the low lunge sequence. Arms up, stretch, three, two, breathe, one, hands down. Relax your neck, relax your jaw. Yep, second one, arms up, fingers behind the ears, stretch back, three, Two, really trying to understand these hip flexors. One, and shoulder blades. Yeah, arms up and down, relax. Last one, arms up, fingertips back, fingertips to the floor, breathe. Three, two, and one, great. Hands to the ground, prasadita, padottanasana. Mm -hmm. Hold the stretch here. Hold the stretch here, wonderful. Yeah, 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 back bending, so, 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 so tricky. I don't want folks to avoid it, so let's turn to the right side, get a chaturanga vinyasa over there, and let's start to look at how it can go into vinyasa yoga. Child's pose, inhale, exhale. So the first thing is utilizing the child's pose to rest your back. So if you get, if it gets too intense, rest. The second thing is, is do little bits each time. I try to create a sequence that has very, very small steps. And uh, but, you know, a little bit of back bending, as long as there's nothing going on in your spine, is actually good for it. So we're gonna go back to downward facing dog, inhale, exhale, and walk your hands back to your feet. Now, in these forward folds, I am going to recommend a softening of the knee, right? Because if we're gonna have a little bit more back bending, we're not gonna worry about the hamstring. We're gonna stand all the way up inhaling and place the hands on the hips. Step your right foot forward. Mm -hmm. and we have several positions here too. It's almost like you're gonna set up a partial tanasana. Take your arms overhead, inhale. Bring your hands to prayer position, exhale. Take a new breath, inhale, flat back, forward fold. It's in this first flat back that you can look back and see if your pelvis is aligned or twisting. Inhale all the way back up, arms overhead, exhale. Take the forward fold, your left leg is going to lift, step or jump to chaturanga. That's the main idea of the sequence, good? And downward facing dog. Check your spacing, walk your hands back to your feet. Nice, soft, and stand all the way up, inhale. Look how soft I am with my back here, prayer position. Step your left foot forward, staggered stance. Take a new breath, inhale. On the exhale, just a flat back. I'm actually pushing, I'm pushing my feet into the mat. It feels so good, I got a good sticky mat, I can actually work with it. My feet 
not slipping yet. Come all the way up in hands. Your idea here is hands to the floor. All right, step or jump, chaturanga vinyasa. Either way, upward facing dog. Some of you all want all the jumps, downward facing dog. So you put them in there if you want. Walk your hands back to your feet, nice soft. Stand all the way up, inhaling, prayer position, right foot forward. Fingertips behind the ears, easy back, 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 five. Look at the way that the elbows can peel back, four, so that the shoulder blades are already wrapping around the spine, three, two, and one. Then I'm gonna lift my elbows. As I go into the forward fold, I actually have to lift the elbows. Great, down, 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 hands to the floor, sweep, back step, jump, chaturanga, whatever you like. Upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. We've got a few more in this chain. Now, this is a lot of repetitions. A lot of repetitions, so eh, peace out on some of them. We're doing both sides. It turns out to a lot of repetitions because we're doing both sides, yes? Fingertips behind the ears. Feel how your shoulder blades wrap. Don't worry about the depth of your back bend. Mm -hmm. Three. See, everybody will be just a little bit different. Two, see how you're supporting the head. And one. Now, feel how the shoulder blades stay wrapped back as you go into forward fold. Three, two, and one, hands down, step, jump, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. See how that's gonna work, downward dog. Now we have one more in this sequence. Stay steady, walk your hands back. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Prayer position, right foot forward. Mm -hmm. Lace the hands behind your back. Mm -hmm. Go into a good bit of a back bend first. And here I'm really trying to suck the pelvis forward, suck the pubis forward. That's what helps me open my chest. And then we go right into Parjvottanasana, arms overhead. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the ground, step, jump, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhaling. So good, so good, and downward facing dog. Last one, left side, walk it back. Good, soft, easy, stand it up. Good prayer position. If Jeremy and Kara are out there, um, some of the folks who do a Bikram and go to the back bending boot camps, there is such a thing, <laughs> right? Probably just loving this, arms up, hands back. So how does it happen? You have to deal with the pelvis is going forward, then wrap the shoulder blades to the spine. Then, then decide what you want to happen in your torso, then take maybe a final breath and add what happens with the head. You can see the wall behind me. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, up and over into Parjvottanasana. I wanna contract through the abdominals, keep the shoulder blades where they were, let the spine lengthen, chin to chest, five, four, Three, two, and releasing one to your chaturanga vinyasa, step jump. Upward facing dog, inhaling. Downward dog, exhale, yay. Yay, 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 good. Right leg lift, please, step forward to lunge, prasavita paratanasana. Mm -hmm. And stand all the way up, inhaling. Good, prayer position. Right side triangle pose. I'm using the triangle pose nice and easy just to help reset, offset, I should say, the back bending because the stretch is here and the contraction is in the obliques. But now that you've gotten into the back bending, it should be easier to keep your chest open. Three, two, and one. Come on up, inhale, stretch your arms out, reset your feet, left side, triangle pose. Where does this hand go? Five, four. If you're standing wider, it goes in line with the knee. Three, right? But if you're stiff, 
height to, and you need a block, it's going to line up with the foot. <laughs> All kind of different geometry. And one. Inhale, upright. Let's look to the left. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Sweat, sweat, sweating. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good. So good. From here, take your right foot, please. Step your right foot forward. Lift and step. Mm -hmm. Step in until the back foot is flat, both legs long and straight. Change this into rotated triangle. Five, four. See if you can feel the shoulder blades wrapping back. Three, as in the other poses. Two, and a one. Good, we're just gonna change legs, change leg. You see, so left leg lifting, step. You're gonna be twisting away from me. Get the right foot flat, staggered stance. Actually lift the ribs, then reset for the rotation. Five, four, three, two. I'm actually thinking to lift up, to lift up. And one, chaturanga vinyasa, please. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Yeah, 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 good. Listen carefully, we're gonna stay facing this way. Take your left leg lift. Step into the outside of your left hand. Drop your right knee, twist away from me. If you need to see what's happening good, you're gonna grab the back foot on these beautiful back bending twists. So there's an element of back bend to the twist. Once again, opening the hip flexor. Three, two, and one. Changing sides from downward dog. Mm -hmm. Right leg lifts up to the outside of the right hand. Drop your left knee. Lift up, inhale, twist towards me now, and reach back. Oh. Great. Five, four, three. Just good. Two, and a one. Downward dog, left leg lift. And step forward, lunge. Prasarita Padottanasana. Come all the way up, inhaling, and hands on your hips. Yay, take a little sweat off. Now this next thing is a little unusual. It's back bending with a twist. Fingertips go behind the ears. Now I just think like RuPaul or you know, like you're on the runway because this has this kind of diva-esque twist to it. So I'm here nice and broad, and it's kind of like work. See the way I twist it that way? And now I'm going to go into the back bend there. Work it. So I'm at about a 45 degree diagonal to the front. Two and one, and I can feel all of the contraction on what would be your left side. Come up and center. <sighs> Got to work it. Work it, girl. See the way that's going to rotate at a 45 degree, and then lean back. You're going to have to firm the stabilizing leg. Three, two, Lovely, up, 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 on one. Arms overhead, inhale, enjoy Prasarita Padottanasana. I'm gonna go into it soft and easy, and I'm gonna use a block, because the muscles in the back are getting fired up, and I actually don't want to immediately stretch them low. I'm not thinking about like trying to get low to the ground tonight. Let your neck and shoulders relax, but I will tell you this, the better you get at yoga, the more access you have to all positions. Mm -hmm. Good, turn to the right side, plank and chaturanga. Upward facing dog, see how this is feeling. The upward dog starts to feel luscious, very luscious, and downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Okay, well let's do this again. Start with your right leg lift. It's gonna to go to the outside of your right hand. Once again, you're gonna twist away from me. See that? Grab the back foot. Opposite hand to foot. This gets a little uh, tricky sometimes when you're in class. Sometimes it's same hand to the foot. We might do that tonight. 
and then sometimes it's opposite hand. This is opposite hand. Downward dog, change out. Mm -hmm. Left foot to the outside of your left hand. Drop your right knee. Twist towards me. Sweaty. Great. And then I think sometimes, especially for uh, folks who are runners, you're running, the apparatus of the, of the legs, all of those muscles, mm, of course they get toned up and tightened. So adding a little bit of this cross lateral slight back bending, so good. Good, we're going back to downward facing dog. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, stepping into the center, we're not doing crow, <laughs> but you will bend your knees, send your knees out wide, and it would be a setup for malasana. I'm resting your back once again. I'm grabbing a block because I don't want to go so low. I do want to try to relieve some of the back bending, but I don't want to go super low. Just let your head, neck, and shoulders relax. Good. Going into a seated position now. How do we get there? I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep my two blocks. I would be very, very happy if folks had their blocks. Some of you know what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to push up and lift up into a miniature low loss and, and then extend my legs out without sitting down. So you got your blocks ready? Say yes. So watch me here. Contract the abdominals deeply. Lift the feet from the ground and then extend them out in front. Then have a seat. Set my blocks aside. Baddha Konasana, grab onto the big toes. We're not done with vinyasa, don't worry. You're gonna extend the legs out. Some of you know what I'm doing. You know that probably after this little abdominal sequence, I'm gonna give you some more back bending. So I actually call this a little bit of an abdominal sequence. Roll back, roll forward, chaturanga. Watch out for sweat. Upward facing dog, inhale. And exhale. Well, walk your toes back to the center and set up your malasana. It's really not malasana because malasana means that you get the binding of the arms. But you're definitely getting that cardin that happens before that. Maybe your elbows can drop down. Some folks, you can get your head all the way down. I'm not trying to go very deep here, really. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got to figure out some way to get your hands behind your hips and to push up from the ground and get your legs out in front. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat. Miniature Baddha Konasana so I can grab my big toes and then extend. Hold. Five, four. Try to stabilize that. Three, got a little herky-jerky going on here too, so try to stabilize that. One, roll back, roll forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Good, 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 and downward dog, exhale. Yay, yay, yay. All righty now, let's bend it on down. Step your right foot forward. Many, many people want to get into what's called a halo grip. And I do have a tutorial on Instagram for this pose. Those of you, Allison, you're out there, Flora, you're out there. Those of you who just go to it, you're already there. You're like, yay! See, folks who like backbending, it's just candy. They just eat it up. So we're going to work on the pose twice. Got your right foot forward and your left knee back. First. Put your right hand on your right thigh and send your ribs back, open the hip flexor. Next, reach back and ask the foot to come to you. We're just gonna hold here, three. If you know you are going forward, breathe, two. Maybe try to find the elbow. Slide the foot into the elbow and turn your palm up. And one. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did that. Let's just face the other way. If you want to do up and over chaturanga vinyasa, take it. Now, sometimes when I'm getting into deep, deep 
stretching. The, for me, the vinyasa is a distraction from, from what it is that I want to focus on. Now, some, some folks want to get their heart rate up, so you did that up and over, and then you met us here, left foot forward. Left hand on the left thigh, send your ribs back. Reach back. Tell your foot to come to you. Five, four, use the sweat that's on your body. Three, slide the foot into the elbow and then turn your palm up. Two, yeah, and one. Yeah, we did. Did you go up and over, chaturanga on the other side? Sure, maybe you did, or just prasabhi to padottanasana. And then let's go to downward facing dog to relax everything just for a moment. Mm -hmm. Child's pose, inhale, exhale. Now we're going deeper, but of course you know that you don't have to. And I always try to explain everything that's happening, right foot forward. If you're on a hard surface, maybe you put a towel underneath that knee. Mm -hmm. My students know it's not back bending. And for years and years and years, and I would always say it's not back bending. It's hip or shoulder opening, or both. Your back is designed to bend. Something else is inhibiting it. For me, it's my hips. So you've got your right foot forward, right hand on the right thigh. I think we're gonna do both sides three times. Reach back. This hand pushes your chest back. Something has to go back towards the foot. Slide it into the elbow, five, four, three. This is important, two, just get these fingers on your ear. Just get them on your ear and go, hmm, and one, and release. Prasavita Padottanasana, or up and over Chaturanga Vinyasa, change of sides. Now you know if you get those fingers on your ear, you know that all of your fingers can go on that ear. Right hand back. Left hand on the thigh, send your ribs back, slide it into the elbow, turn the palm up. See? Now, your head and your shoulders are going back to where the foot is. See that? I'm not bringing the foot to where my head was. I'm letting my body arc back to the foot. Three, and then I want to hang out there a bit. Two, don't lose my balance. And a one. Good. Did you take an up and over? We're going to do downward dog on the right side. If you did plank chaturanga, upward facing dog, you did that. We meet up in downward facing dog. Feels so good. Nice pauses in between. And then a child's pose. Think about it. We really don't need chaturanga and upward dog. In fact, I could see better a standard push-up. I could see better a standard push-up with a little softness in the knees is actually going to be better for this workout. We don't need the chaturanga and the upward dog because they destabilize the area we're working in. I'm going to do two more of these. See the softness in my knees? That helps me tuck my tailbone. So this actually engages the core once again. Yeah, but Cecily, I don't understand how the core, how the core helps with the push-ups because it contains your body while your arms and your chest do the work. It contains, the core muscles contain the middle of your body. Okay, up you go, right foot forward. Mm-hmm, last one. Do you see it now? How your fingers are going to touch here and then there's your halo. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. See those fingers came together. Other side through Prasarita, the breathe, or up and over, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Inhaling, exhaling, switching. Thinking, breathing, feeling. What do you feel? Is it easy or hard? Here we go, left side. Eight, seven, six, Let's stay this way. Downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. See, I'm gonna leave that softness in my knees. It's not because my hamstrings are tight. It's just that back bending uh, needs an opposing, uh, uh, de an imposing engagement of the hamstring and the core abdominal. Let's go into your child's pose, and you know that because the child's pose feels so good, which is your hamstrings contracting. Yes, and your core contracting so that all of this chain gets relieved, get, gets relieved. All right, let's stay facing the left side and legs out straight in front. Nice, easy forward fold. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Some of you can. Some of you are like, oh, it feels so good, and you go right down. But if your hamstrings are tight, not, not really trying to open that tonight. Three, two, and one. Bending in, I'm up on the big toes, arms are out, hold here, or full Navasana pose, extend the legs. Five, four, love it so much here. Three, two, Gonna go to Baddha Konasana next on one. Soles of the feet together. We're gonna do it twice. Elbows inside towards the hip sockets, forward fold five. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Four, I could go lower. Three, just not gonna worry about it today. Two and one, I'm gonna inhale up. Now the elbows go in front of the shins. Inhale, exhale, draw. Five. Just, just a little bit, three variants, two, and a one. Yay! Want to go all the way back to the beginning of class and go into pigeon poses. I've got my equipment here to help my pigeon pose. It's going to be your right foot forward first. And so I'm going to get my right, uh, it's going to be um, my left side, but I'm going to get, um, yeah, get your right leg forward. Let's all do the right side. <laughs> so it's my right foot and your right foot. And get your left leg back. Check it out. Let's see how it feels. And let's see if we can get the halo grip to the rear leg. So first you have this long and luxurious pigeon. Let's take about 10 counts. One and two. My recommendation almost always is to send your arms out right to left instead of forward. Three and four counts. Why? Because your body's probably trying to roll to the right if it's your right foot forward. Three, so if you use your right hand, you can roll your body to the left. See that? Two. You're going to stay here a little bit longer. Take the hands forward. Give me five more counts. One and two. Three, see if you go out right to left first, You'll be able to get so much better forward next. One more breath there and one. Keep your legs as they are, push up. Now to get that rear foot, I have to take my blanket out. This is really hard for me. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this tonight, but you've got to practice. If you don't practice things, they'll just never come to you. Look how I'm rolling to the right. So even to grab that foot, I have to roll to the right, which lets me know that it's my left leg that's having an issue with the pose, not my right leg. It's not my right piriformis that has trouble. It's my left iliopsoas. There it is, you can see it. Look how the mat is squeezing in and bunching up. 
I'm going to just use my hands and maybe, maybe find the blanket again a little bit and try to get into that halo grip of pigeon. Five, this is four. I'm going to use my hands because I don't want to twist toward you. Three, I want to actually twist away from you and try to get that hip bone down. Two, yep, and one. Yay. Let's face the other way. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nice. Okay. So it'll be, let's everybody use the left leg. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, boy, if you struggle with pigeon, just keep just keep chipping away at it. It, it, is, it is not my best pose. And I could easily not put it into the program, but I want students to see. To practice yoga, you are asking a lot of your body. 10 counts, five with the arms out to the side. Five, four. It's almost like asking your kids to learn grammar or something. You know, three, everybody's good with the easy arithmetic two, and then you get to like something like algebra or chemistry. It's like, you're asking a lot now. Mm -hmm. And it takes years. Gonna bring the hands to the front, five more breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Gonna post up and start thinking about the back leg. See, look how I'm leaning. I think the tightest muscle in my body is that iliopsoas hip flexor quadricep. Five, so I'm trying to turn away from you. Four, so that this side opens up a little more. Three, two, that's the practice. And one, release. Let's go onto our back. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Give your knees a hug, maybe a little happy baby's pose. All right, nicely done. Well, we'll be back on Thursday at five, getting on through to the end of May. All of these classes stay the same. So Tuesday, Thursdays, 5 p.m. Facebook Live, and then Saturdays at 12 noon. And then you definitely wanna to subscribe to YouTube because I drop the classes there, uh, sometimes two at a time, sometimes three at a time. Yeah. If you have a final stretch for me, I know what I'm gonna do is plow, because uh, I just wanna give a final stretch to the low back, but, it, but it's gonna be a soft plow. Look at how I softened it, by placing the hands here and letting my knees bend. It's not a proper plow. I just want a nice, simple stretch here. If you want something else, you've taken it, maybe a spinal twist, and the otherwise, you are already maybe in Shavasana. Maybe you're already there, maybe straighten out the legs. Get the pillow behind the head. Mm. What are your favorite restorative positions? Type them into the comments. You can always go back to my page, type them into the comments. I really would like to know. I always feel like, well, there are classes that are all restorative. We could just do a, a whole nother hour on restorative. <laughs> Give yourself that complete spectrum. I'm going to sit on up. And give you all the Gayatri chant to finish. The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you, and for that we say namaste. Namaste.